after after the inaugural session uh, as usual ga we need to have a felicitations but due to some time constraints we are planning it for uh, before going to lunch we are going to have a felicitations to the uh, chief guest and guest of honor and keynote speaker now we are going to the second session that is none other than plenary session 1 in the plenary session 1 two speakers are going to be handling this plenary session and the dr prabhakar reddy sir controller of examinations is going to be the coordinator for this plenary session i welcome professor d anjaneel garu and to the dais and another speaker dr k uma shankar associate professor manipal school of academy bangalore sir please sir please come to the dais and i request prabhakar reddy sir to take this uh, session for sir please sir. Candles. 
the yes and no campus is nowhere like you visit. So there was a requirement. Okay, there was a uh, kind of project. But you know, that gamification model that we were about, I myself started introspecting. Are we apprehensive about our own creation? So big question mark comes. Whether AI yeah, created me or obviously AI. Yeah. So do we have Cronus syndrome? <coughs> Cronus syndrome in psychology means the big teachers are being replaced. Do we agree? Are we going to be replaced? Well, you see the new robots walking into the class, teaching something to the students, and the students are busy with their own work. I think, yeah, my beloved students are standing in so the last, you can please ask them if a robot walks in, then. So let's comprehend the role of the eye in transforming the magnetic system. Let's explore the ways to reconcile emotional intelligence and artificial intelligence. So coming to talk about, so yeah, I've given of course one of the uh, studies of course that I came across during my literature review. So that actually said that yes, this artificial intelligence, yes, like you know, the repercussions could be same, of course, the banking industry and this. Okay, so we are more and more inclined towards digital banking. So which means people want to meet people. People want to meet people. Right? So although, of course, no, I guess, twenty-eight percent of them, of course, no, they prefer for full banking, but otherwise, majority of them actually want to talk to the people. So which means we are safe. So yeah, of course, you know, I also uh, interact, regularly I interact with the young bankers, those who are state one and state officers, both in private and public sector banks in India. So they have question marks on the KPMG. So ideation and uh, artificial intelligence. How does click up? How does click up? You check your last one. Check your last one. Like yes, of course, a lot of uh, changes are happening. Uh, the banks are changing their uh, business models. We are due to increasing competition. Okay, so not only increase the time of this So, scope of the study. So, this is what we are looking at. One is, uh, this could be very useful, that is particularly able. The conceptual model, of course, you know that we have uh, the block which based on the 10 assumptions. So, that will give, of course, you know that the multi dimensional. Okay, so actually, the celebration psychology, celebration is a process where uh, there's something called neuroplasticity. Gently, we use these emotions in our day-to-day -day interaction. And then, based on the classification of emotions, I think I don't need to explain what emotions are. These are the various subcategories of emotions. Yes. So this is the model, uh, emotional intelligence model by uh, Professor David Goldman. Okay. When we are experiencing something, so we have its own cerebral processes. All right. So this is natural. It has to happen for the cognitive development. Okay, yeah, I think in 1992, uh, when the liberalisation took place in the banking industry, it was a transformation. People were afraid of losing jobs. So when you talk about uh, one of the perfect models, I can say okay, that actually integrates CI and AI, the CI model. How machine learning can assist employees to initiate interpersonal awareness? Then, uh, assumption two, how deep learning enables employees to re engineer the cognitive and managing change? So, I'm going into it first. Okay, so we have written out specifically the job many times. And knowledge representation that sharpens our influencing skills. And language processing and how. Then, 
algorithms, how we can expand the social awareness. And yes, I think we can I would say deep learning, yes, uh, even after that, I'm also working on a module called AUD visualization. Okay, so with the help of AI, and so I think the you might have experienced this sleep paralysis. We'll be sleeping. We are unable to lift our head, okay, unable to move our lips. But, and you open your eyes and something is coming in front of you. Okay, AI is after all is created by us for the betterment of human life. Alright? But only thing is we have to make some efforts, conscious efforts, in order to embrace this AI uh, facility. Right? So with this, I would like to conclude mine. If you have any questions uh, or discussions with you, you can call the question over. So, and again, so sorry for keeping you waiting for such a long time. So, so thank you. And uh, once again, uh, thank you to Lieutenant Dr. Uh, and we know that uh, the technology has been playing a greater role in all aspects.